Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have I Love with 1026 rating versus Lollipop with 1331 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. And now we're going to see Lollipop win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, so they're going to get to the decide if they want to go first or second this match, and then looking at the deck counts, we can go ahead and see 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. And then Lollipop will be deciding to go first. Pretty obvious. So then looking at the opening hands, we can see Strike, Droll, Revolt, Rammer, and Pankratops. So two going second cards. Uh, Ram Ram's like a halfway going second card, I guess. So, you know, Zoo, Poke, Zeus is pretty good, but uh, I don't know. So two going second cards, and then they have Wind, Droll. Ah, uh, two different arts, huh? And then Talents, Fire, and Field Spell. So Talents is going to get to rip a card out of hand. Then they're going to go ahead and field spell, and that's going to grab water from deck. And then they're going to drop Droll here, playing in the Talents and Gamma. And then Talents to look at the hand. It's going to go ahead and hit Pankratops back. And then Normal Summon Water, and they can just freely combo here. Getting a thousand, bring out Wind. And then go ahead, turn those into Doodle Bob, and then you're going to get Wind Effect. You can't Doodle because of Droll. Then bring out fire, doodle, add back fusion, and add back water from the graveyard. And then set fusion pass, draw rat. Oh, that sucks. Don't really want to draw another zoo there. They're going to go ahead and activate the fusion, get rid of three, bring out battle butter. And then you're going to get all those effects. It's going to go ahead and summon out three from deck. And then field spell gives them all a boost. So I'm pretty sure that they're doing this as like chain link one. So then all these get summoned and then they all gain the 500 boost off of that. And then on res, they're going to battle butler effect, hit the ram ram, and then I love just admits defeat. Not too much they can do there. I mean, they can like set strike, revolt, pass, but I mean, they only have one strike playing against an entire engine like they're going to lose. So now moving on to game two. We are going to see I Love choose to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we can see Ash Blossom, Fractal, Order, Judgment, Bell. That's not bad. Order plus Judgment is indeed a combo. Then they have Pranks, Talons, One for One, Cosmic, and Fire. So the Cosmic will be good to try to target Order, but they might just Judgment and negate that, depending on what they do here. There's no hand traps here, so that's good. So now they can just Fractal Effect. It's going to send itself and then go ahead and send Kit. Kit, go send Nerval. Nerval, go add Kit. And then Normal Summon Kit Effect. That's going to banish two to bring out the Ancient Warriors. And then this is like, you know, no spells plus a balance. Like, that's already enough to beat Prank Kids. Uh, if they do have like a Fusion Spell in response. Well, because you would just like go Bounce. And then if they activate Fusion Spell, you have Order to Chain. And then, like they have cosmic and you have judgment. And then they draw the Roxies for turn. They're gonna go ahead and normal summon out Roxies and then use that effect, get rid of kit to go bounce. And then kit effect, go dump Nerval, Nerval at Fractal. And then Talons, they're gonna chain you order, and then chain cosmic, target order, chain judgment. Uh, no extenders can be done now, obviously, because order's crazy. And then draw Kuraz, and they're going to take 700. And then they should just be able to go for game here. Normal Summon Fractal effect, Banish 3. And then that's going to summon out the Doom Eagle, and then Battle Phase. Uh, this is at 48, gains 2,400 attack from its effect. And this is at 16, gains 500 from its effect. And then they're going to go ahead and poke. And then that's just game. So now moving on to the next game. We are going to go ahead and see Lollipop choose to go first. Opening hands is Alpha, Lightning Storm, Meister, Kit, Revolt. Definitely solid. Yeah, this is definitely solid. Meister is extremely good versus Prank Kids. And then they have Thunder Dragon Fusion. Uh, I still feel a certain way about this card. Like a, a poor way. I don't think it's very solid. A lot of people have been... Not a lot, but some people have been playing three of this. I think if you are going to play it, like... I don't I don't see a point in playing it. Cause like 
The problem with the deck is that you go normal summon Link off, and they go Meister, Gamma, Ash, or just or they drop like a C on you. They just hurry up and they interrupt your plays. And Thunder Dragon Fusion doesn't help with that. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I just, I just don't like it too much. And then they have Fusion Spell, Field Spell, Reborn, and Roxies. And then they're gonna go ahead and activate Field Spell. Go grab Fire from deck to hand. And then normal summon, go in the meow, fire effect, chain meister. And usually that's just like extremely good right there, but they have the extender to push through. They're going to bring out rocket ride, and then they're going to get rock effect, chain link one, rocket effect, chain link two to chain block, and then go ahead and summon. They could have also just used this to chain block two. And then go into a doodle bob. And then they're going to get Wind Doodle Bob, go send Pranks, bring out Water, and then go add Fusion Spell. And then Doodle Bob Effect Attribute to go ahead and add back Pranks, and add back Wind from the Graveyard, and then activate Pranks, discard Wind, pass out a token, and then go ahead and turn those into a Bow Wow, and then Water, Gang a Thousand, and then they're going to summon out Wind. And then Set Fusion, Set Cosmic. Then Thunder Dragon Fusion, it's going to go ahead and put back three. And then bring out Battle Butler. So that's why they didn't use Field Spell earlier, is because they were wanting to do it on that. Fair enough. And then they are going to end phase. Pranks, go ahead and put back three. And then draw into Desires, pass, draw on the bell. And then they're going to stand by Bow Wow Effect to try to add back. And they're just going to go ahead and bell negate that. Then Lightning Storm the back row. The back row just goes. Solid plus three. And then Normal Summon Out Kit. Go for Amirage. Kit to go dump Nerval. Add Kuraz. This is nice because now they can just summon out the Alpha. And then on Summon they're going to go Battle Butler Effect. And then Chain Amirage to protect. And then they're going to go ahead and Alpha Bounds. So, they could have just Battle Butler, Chain Link 1, Amaros, Chain Link 2, Battle Butler, Chain Link 3. Is there a reason they didn't let that happen? Because now there's a Beast in hand for the known Kuraz. I, I, I don't think that was right. Am I missing something there? Like, I know for a fact Battle Butler isn't once per chain. Like, when it came out, that wouldn't even come up. Because, like, this card wasn't even out. 100% it's not once per chain. Like, I already know that. Um, Yeah. Alright, fair enough. And now they're just going to have Kuraz bring itself out. And then Kuraz effect. That's going to banish and summon out the Ancient Warriors. And then Battle Phase, they're going to go ahead and poke. Getting some damage in here. And then main phase two set pass. So they're going to want to go ahead and use this to tribute and bounce. Or not tribute, but send and bounce. Yeah, send and bounce. Um, because they only have three right now. And that would be the fourth for a revolt into an omen. Draws cosmic. That's nice. It's going to deal with revolt. And then chain revolt. That's going to go ahead and bring out three. And then turn those into the silver. And then you're going to get Nerval Kit, go dump Fractal and add Fractal. Then Thunder Dragon Fusion, set GG, go add Wind. I mean, they could Desires draw into something here. They're going to banish, and then let's look at the banishes. She's like called by Harpies, even though they were going first. TC Boo. That's nice. <laughs> that, that, that's an extender. That definitely works. Uh, I was thinking more like something to negate this, but that for sure works also. So, they're going to normal summon out wind effect, go ahead and bounce that, and then fusion, get rid of those, bring out rocket ride, and then you're going to get those effects. You're going to go ahead and dump, and then summon, and then water, gang a thousand. Well, wind bring out this, water bring out that. And then go for Meow, Fire, Burn for 5, Bring Out Wind. 
And they are locked in the prank kits here. Rocket Ride effect, bring out Bow Wow and Fire. Uh, we have to remember that those cannot attack this turn. So this cannot poke. And then go for Doodle Bob. And then turn those into a Doodle Bob. A lot of Doodle Bobs running around right now. They're going to go end of main phase effect, summon back out Nerval. And then Doodle Bob attack over. It still gains a thousand though. Shouldn't they have used this to attack that then beat over this? Yeah, because this just made their dude the 600. So then they kind of beat over that. So that was just a misplay. They just didn't read this card. Doodle effect tribute to add back pranks and add back fusion spell. And then activate pranks, set fusion spell. End phase pranks effect that's going to go ahead and shuffle back three and then draw one. And this is going to go back to hand because of silver. I actually really like that because... Uh, you can like silver, bring out ram ram, they destroy it, you get the summon back, if they don't, then you get a zoo to hand, and then you still have like a, normally you'll still have like a Borbo and Zeus left in extra deck, which is cool. And then they're going to draw talents off of that, and then pat, whoa, <laughs> they draw talents, and then they draw talents, insane. It's crazy, because this just shouldn't be on board, just misplays, normal summon Nerval, bow wow effect. That could have also just been activated in standby to play around Talons. And then they're going to Fusion Spell, get rid of two, bring out Weather Washer. And then they're going to get Water and Fire, Burn and Gang. And then they're not going to summon off of those. And then Weather Washer to get rid of Meow to summon out. Bow Wow and Wind. Then they're going to go ahead and Nerval Effect. Banish four to bring out Omen. And then Omen Effect. And that's just going to banish Weather Washer. They're going to let that go through and then go for Blossom and get those effects. And, uh, Nerval to go search and then Omen to go search. And then Talents to look at hand. I feel like you would have just done that prior. Like if you were going to Talents to look at hand, shouldn't you have just done that before you started comboing? I mean, it kind of gave you the perfect opportunity by not like bow wowing on the standby or draw phase. Uh, then Blossom to summon out Ram Ram. And then go for Borbo. Battle phase is going to go ahead and attack directly. And then main phase 2. Go for Chaka 9. Tiger Mortar. And then Zeus. And then Zeus is going to go ahead and wipe the board. Uh, they already used Bow Wow this turn. So it's not like they can chain that. Uh, and then they're going to get Blossom to draw and then put back. No more follow ups. Pass, draw water. Normal summon Zeus. Burr, get rid of that. Draw on the ash. That just like over secures the game. I mean, normal summon Fractal, banish. It's already game, but like, whew, that was a nice draw. Summon out Omen and then battle phase. Burr, 79. That was an interesting match. I thought it was about to be a very, 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 very clean 2 0. And then. You know, Thunder Dragon Fusion, go add, uh, Cosmic, Desire's drawn to another Prank Kid plus Fusion. Like, that was, was definitely a little wild there. But looking at how long the match was, the match was exactly 35 minutes long. Uh, that's not bad. You know, with Prank Kids, the, the games can take forever sometimes. It was a 2-0, though, so 35 minutes for a 2-0. I mean, fair enough. Uh, if it went to a game three, probably would have been like an hour just because of how this deck plays. It can take forever sometimes. But with all that being said, uh, actually, you know what? I want to talk about this deck a little bit. I think this deck's cool. Um, I don't think it's like really, really good right now. I do think in the future, though, it could become a lot better. The new Link 2 is solid. I don't know why like everyone's just trashing it saying like, oh, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, it's not, like, amazing or anything. It's not, like, super out-of-this-world crazy. Um, I kind of wish it was a Link 3, just so that way you could, like, go into, like, Appalooza with it. But, you know, it's not, sadly. I wish it didn't have, like, the Tri-Brigade lock either. Uh, those kind of suck about it. But it does let you go add Revolt. 
And that that's solid enough. And you know, you can discard to go ahead and summon back, which is cool. Uh, you definitely can do that in a lot of plays. Um, it makes us that way, like, if you draw, like, uh, dead cards, like Gamma or something, Gamma, Driver, uh, you can just go ahead and discard and summon back. Uh, but that effect probably isn't going to be used as much, nearly as much as the go ahead and search a Revolt. I think that's just, like, really solid, because Revolt's a pretty solid card. Brings out Omen, and then Omen does the Banish, and then if you stab stuff Banished, you can go search, and then you already just got your Nerval search. Your kits and uh, so it's it's definitely pretty nice, but still couldn't they have just chained Battle Butler and like added the out of the Alpha and then there would have been no card in hand to discard, and if there was a card in hand to discard, then like it would have put them on a have one in hand. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, they definitely messed up that game. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.